But so I have an innovation story, and I'll, I'll embarrass Dave a little bit because he and I are in this together. And um, so Dave and I met about 25 years ago when I was working at Boston, and another Bose uh, engineer, when we both worked at Bose, knew Dave, and they played together like a, in a band. And this friend John had said, you know, you should meet my friend Dave, and we had some jam session. And within a few notes, we were really kind of playing well together, even though it turned out that we didn't know how to play any songs. At least we didn't know any songs that anybody else knew. We, we couldn't really read music, and we couldn't really imitate other bands very well, and we couldn't really sing either, so we couldn't do the conventional garage band thing. But what we could do was sort of make things up that sort of sounded like they were simpatico, and we, we wondered about this a little bit. We said, well, maybe we listened to the same bands growing up, which was partially true. And we never actually totally figured it out, but this is now 25 years later. And we never still did figure out how to read music, and we never actually figured out how to play, how to imitate other bands very well, and we still never figured out how to sing. But over the years, we've accumulated a lot of original material, which we know how to play because we don't know how to play anything else, and we really wanted to play. So because we couldn't do anything that any of the other bands wanted to do, we ended up with a couple of CDs of original material, <laughs> and with a bunch of friends who also are telepathic with us, and we don't know how to explain to them what we're doing either, so the, the bar to play with us is you have to sort of not ask too many questions because we can't answer them. Yeah. <laughs> but because of this, we've actually ended up getting a following. Uh, people like to come to listen to us because it never ever sounds the same. And w at first we tried telling some of our friends, you know, you're, you're really being nice to us, you've like listened to us a lot of times. And they generally say the same thing, we have no idea what the hell you're going to do, because you don't even have any idea what the hell you're going to do. <laughs> because you don't know how to do anything that you ever did before, you can't even repeat it. So, this is like a real innovation story, because we couldn't actually do anything that you're supposed to do to be a musician, but here it's 25 years later, and we're still playing in clubs and yeah. still doing this. And when people ask us, what style of music do you play? He says, whatever we can. <laughs> and, and that's still the answer.